Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. And Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Today's Gospel is from St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. Let's pray with Father Gregory for understanding before we hear today's Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, that all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now, today's Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither staves, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics apiece. Whatever house you enter, stay there, and from there depart. And whoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. So they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. The Word of God. One thing we should always ask ourselves when we hear or read scripture. And that is, how do I apply this to my life? If we don't apply the scriptures to our lives, then we have pretty much wasted our time. In this gospel, Jesus sends out his apostles to preach the good news. Writing the gospel of Jesus Christ is our job too. So I urge you to take inspiration from today's gospel message and let the world in on the good news that there is eternal life in Jesus Christ. Don't know how to do that? Well, sharing this program with your friends would be a good start. Have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto God.